morning everybody I wanted to come on here one more time I was um, sometimes when I'm out here driving I have a, I have all these thoughts and that's I just I'm trying to do better when it comes to just putting some of my thoughts on video since I'm not always at home in my studio to be able to teach and talk like I want but some of the conversations that I just have I guess with myself and uh, my wife or others um, I have to be thinking about it but it was one thing I was thinking about real strongly yesterday was the fact, okay, I was watching the video and, um, you know, it, it was doing, I guess, a poll or they were doing some kind of a survey on, you know, what would happen after, um, if, you know, this person gets in office, what do you think your life is going to be like? And they interviewed a lot of our community and I, and I saw how the people were saying things like, oh, if this person gets in office, it's going to be the end. I won't be able to buy a house. I won't be able to do this. I won't be able to get my uh, assistance. I won't be able to get this. I'll be up, you know. And it was like a lot of people saying that over and over and over and over again. Like, I won't be able to get my stuff. Uh, they won't be able to give me this. They won't be able to help me and assist me. And that just bothered me because, you know, I, I'm a guy who kind of came... I kind of, I'm a guy who grew up in what most people will consider like uh, the hood or, uh, uh, you know, areas where a lot of people just didn't make it out of. A lot of my friends that I grew up with and a lot of people I, who I know, you know, they're, some of them are still kind of in that lifestyle. And I kind of grew up in places like that. In other words, I didn't have anybody really to give me a lot of things either. But I think you get to a point where you have to let, let me say it like this I'm tired of a lot of people playing the victim card being so victimized about who's not giving them this and who's not giving them that that they don't even recognize that you can actually go out there and get it yourself I had a similar background with most of those people but I went out and I, I got things myself nobody didn't give me anything I don't depend on anybody I created my own businesses. I've done everything that I that I wanted. I had to go out there and get it. You know, the Bible even talks about meditating the word day and night. By doing so, you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. I think that if we continue to, you know, rely on other people saying, you got to give me this and you got to help me out here. And I mean, there's a time for that. I think there really is a time for that, but it can't be a lifestyle. That's why I'm not really all for a lot of the government assistance, Section 8 and everything like that, uh, because I think it kind of, it stops people creativity, it stops people from dreaming, it stops people from trying to go out there and get something, and what happens is they fall into this victimized mentality, and they, they, they become soft. They don't try for anything, because their success is connected to, what are you going to do for me? And I think we have a culture of that now, of people just saying, what are you gonna do for me? And I can't make it unless you do this for me. Instead of saying, okay, nobody's gonna do this for me. What do I gotta do to go get it myself? And this is where I believe we're at. Um, and it just bothered me that, how come we're not, now I'm not saying the information not out there, but why is it so popular to be the victim? Why is it so popular to be somebody who's always got to be the person with their hand out i don't understand that especially when it comes to men you know i can probably see i'm not trying to sound sexist but it may it may come off this way i can probably see if things are stacked against you if you're a woman and you have uh, you know kids and you're doing it by yourself single parenthood yeah that is a hard thing but i am saying that when i see i guess men who kind of have that victimized feminine kind of thing like I don't know what I'm gonna do you need to go out there and, and get up and just do something um, and there's so many men that don't even like to try because they're so used to either their girls taking care of them or somebody else taking care of them that they don't even have the drive in their eyes now, I know a lot of people don't like stuff like this because it challenges you to do something but the fact is you're never gonna get anywhere unless you get up and bust a move um, you know I'm out here doing what I have to do because I want my family to live a certain way, a certain lifestyle, a certain kind of thing. But nobody's going to get that for us unless 
I go out there and do it. You know, my wife is the same way. She's a hard worker. And I just think that we have lost some of that hard working ethics because we're so used to people handing out something for us. And then when they don't give it to us, we got the audacity to complain. I've been at the point where one time we had to get government assistance when I moved from uh, Arizona to, to, I'm sorry, from Tennessee to Arizona. And for a time I had to get some a little assistance, but I've always said to myself when I, when I got the assistance for like, I think a, a month or two or something like that, I was saying, this is not going to be me. This is not me. I don't want to be, you know, uh, dependent on this for months and years. And so once we got a, a government assistance, I think for like maybe a, no more than a month, but it had to be like a couple of weeks. After that, I was off of it. And then I found a job. I didn't care what I worked at. I don't know. I, I guess I just think that, you know, if you think that you're going to succeed in life by somebody simultaneously handing you something, then you're going to be on that, that pole for the rest of your life. Um, and there's nothing wrong with working hard. There's nothing wrong with going out there and doing something uh, to better your life and your family. And even if you don't know what to do, I would say get some books. I read books, I read audio books, I read a lot of different things that kind of help challenge your mind. The Bible talks about be changed by the renewing of your mind. If you don't like where you're at, change it. And a lot of these people that complaining or it seems like they're always going through something, it's because they never did renew their mind. And this is gonna kind of bring me to another point that I'll probably do in another video, but you know, some of our people in the body of Christ keep us victimized too. You're always going through, oh, shout your way and get out of this. You're coming out of this. Everybody's not always going through a storm, you know, and sometimes if that's all you listen to all the time, and let me just say this, let me just say it, let me just say it now. Uh, you got to be careful about the people who's always telling you that God's going to whisper your name in the boardroom. God is always, you know, about to open this big door for you. God is always about to set you up and this is gonna be your year, this is gonna be your month. I'm not saying that God doesn't do that, but when you see people that say that all the time, they're saying that all the time and most of the people who they're talking to are always victimized. They're always, you know, waiting for God to come in and do something when you need to get up there and bust a move. You need a plan. If you don't like where you're at financially, then you need to get yourself on a budget. You need to stop spending on things that you don't need and you need to, you know, do what you can do to increase your credit score if you're trying to buy a house or you're trying to buy a car if you're trying to do stop waiting on somebody else to come and save you and you need to go ahead and go out there and do it yourself and i think that's why to me it always makes me feel uh angry that these people had the audacity to say oh they're not going to give me this or they're going to take away this I don't care if people take away everything. You can go out there and get it yourself. And when you get it yourself, nobody can take it from you. The reason why people can take things from you is because you're just supposed to have it in the first place. So, I mean, I don't know. I just think that a lot of us play a victimized mentality so much that we don't even know who we are anymore. We have no identity anymore because we are so victimized by, uh, it's not gonna work because you're not gonna do this for me. I don't know, maybe we do need to let some of these things fall so we can recognize who we really are. Um, people don't like hearing stuff like this because it requires you to do something. But if you don't get up and do anything, then you're just gonna be going around the same mountain for the rest of your life. You'll be the same way this time next year, still waiting on God for your breakthrough. And I'm not saying God don't break through, I am just saying that faith without works is dead. If you believe God's gonna break through, then we ought to look at your life and see what are you doing so that you can prepare yourself for that breakthrough. But if you're sitting at home or if you're doing this, you're not working or you're bouncing from job to job or you always waiting for somebody else, God does not bless welfare. God does not bless welfare. So if you want somebody to hand you something, you are the guy who had the one talent that, bur that buried it in the sand and the Lord called him a wicked, lazy person. God will bless the work of your hands. And there's nothing wrong with going out there to go and work. I stay out here sometimes with this trucking business and I stay out two, sometimes three weeks. But it's only because I have a certain goal. I got a financial goal for my life and my family. But I'm not depending on any kind of government. If they wanna do something, that's fine. I'll take the check. But I'm not looking for anybody to give me anything. 
I try to go out there and make my way prosperous. And then the Bible says you'll have good success. And I think that's the true success is when you go out there and you do it yourself and you let God bless the work of your hands. And that way, nobody can take it from you. So anyway, that's all I want to say. Hope this helps somebody. Love you. I'll talk to you soon.